Hello again everyone, welcome to another paper airplane tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an auto paper uh, aircraft from Star Wars movie, the Imperial Shuttle. <music> okay, to make this origami, you need a piece of US letter sized paper. You can also use an A4 paper. Now, first of all, let me uh, fold the paper in half this way. And on the following step, I will start from the top edge, fold to the other edge, and then I will repeat the same fold for the other side. So I will move it down a little bit to make sure that's all edges are lined up. And I will move it up so you guys can see it clearly. Okay, after I finish one side, I will repeat the same fold for the other side. I will start from the top edge again, upward to this edge. And I want to make sure that all edges are lined up. And when all edges and when all edges are lined up, I can just fresh down the paper to create the crease. You may need to adjust it a little bit. All right. So after you finish all creases, let's flip the paper over. And now uh, you have a point here, uh, the intersection of all creases. You set point as a reference and start from this side for it down. Use the center crease as your reference as well. Make sure that the crease on the upper layer now match with the other layer. So. All right, now let's unfold the paper. Now I will flip the paper over and uh, put the paper like this and I'll use both hands for this edge or this crease to the center crease so for both sides to the center crease and this is what you should have and uh, from your point of view you can see something like this uh, on the top here you can see this point or uh, this upper layer there's a crease to press the style to the center crease. This might be off a little bit. Uh, if you see off, you need to fix it. All right, uh, now I'm going to show you how to do the next step. Um, on the following step, let's uh, fold. You know, we need to have this size stand up so uh, just hold this like this and uh, now I will start from this edge or the upper layer and this corner I will force down like this I will fold a little bit more actually okay to the center crease too maybe not so uh, I'll start from this size I will fold it in and I will start uh, estimate about half an inch, just no one inch, one inch and a half, and I'll fold like this, and something for this side, right? I just fold it in, and now you know we have both sides, both sides like this. Um, it's, you need to fix it. Make sure that both sides are even. Okay, um, so you can fold both sides like this, one over the other, so that make sure that both sides are even, so that's look good, that's look good for now, and uh, now you can, you know, I will mash them, I mash them together, I fold them like this, 
So, you know those the creases that we make in the past now match. You see this line match with the other line. Now I can fold both sides up. See, this is what you should have for now. And then you can fix this and this as well. Okay, and now um. And now I'll press the paper down again. Keep that part together, okay? That's fine. Keep that part together. And uh, fold this one up. We do not fold it up. We just press this out. And on the following step, I will start from the top here. I fold it down like this. I fold it down a little bit more. You can see I stuck this in here. Let me pull both sides out and I'll fold this one in. You see that? Okay. You see this part in? Fold this down and I'll push this one back. I push this one back and now I can pull this one up. This one up. And you know this part is down ready. I just press the cell. So let's see what you should have. Make sure that you fix uh, the choice between the two sides of the wings. And now I can fold the paper in half. I fold the paper in half. And rest out. Hard. Very hard. Okay. So it looks good, right? And uh, on the following step, you can create the wings. At the very end, I just fold out. Just fold this part down to create the wings. Um, for here, you match this corner to this corner. But uh, you shouldn't match to this corner, but you can match it down a little bit so that you can have uh, uh, the wings will be smaller at the end and this will fly up. So you can fold it like this. And same thing for the other side. Just fold it down. All right, so um, let's take a look at this. This is a uh, uh, Imperial Shutter. And I will, t I will show you guys a little bit more to make it look uh, more like the Imperial Shutter. All right. Just hold on. Um, I need to see how it look like uh, in reality, and I can show you guys. Okay, so this is how it look like so far, and I will adjust it a little bit to make it look more like the Emperor Shuttle. Okay, so we uh, make uh, the top here it looks perfectly but uh, for the wings at the end it doesn't look like how it should look um, so at the very end I will fold uh, this up a little bit like this you can see that I put up a little bit and um, I'll fold both sides up as some it should look like this and uh, I'll fold this one down. See, I'll fold this one down like so, like this. Okay, I'll fold this down, and I'll match. Uh, start from the center crease here. You see the center crease from the edge with the center crease. Start from this point, fold straight down. Okay. Uh, just fold it down, and repeat the same fold for the other side. Let me flip the paper over then. We do for the other side. Okay, 
Now, uh, when you finish both sides, make sure that you just fold it to the center degree. When you finish both sides, um, you can fold it inward instead. Now you have a creases, just fold it inward. So, for this, same thing for this side. And uh, now you can force into, you know, that we have a, a gap between the upper and lower layer. Uh, just for in here. Right. And now we rest the paper down hard. And then fold the paper in half. And again, start from this side for it down. Same thing for the other side. Okay, and here you go guys, this is the Imploro Shadow from Star Wars movie, you can see this from this size, uh, test this out, and I hope you guys enjoy making this paper airplane tutorial, uh, don't forget to give the video a thumb up, and uh, subscribe my channels, and uh, what do you think about this origami, comment below, and uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time, bye.